women also use minoxidil patient started showing increased hair growth in the beard it has to be avoided so minoxidil is something which is a medicine not everybody is supposed to be benefited by it what should we do if minoxidil is not working for us only solution which remains is doctor i'll start applying minoxidil ab result aane mein kitna samay lagega initially there may be some increased shedding because of minoxidil because it changes your hair cycle so it is true to say that minoxidil does hello to everyone today we'll be talking about minoxidil agar koi ek solution hai jo hum sab ko lagana chahiye agar hame male ya female pattern hair loss hai to wo hai minoxidil iske bare mein itne sare questions hain sabke mind mein who should apply minoxidil when it should be applied who all are uh, the people who should refrain from it kab lagaye kaise chhode बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस के आंसर्स के लिए आज हमारे साथ हैं डॉक्टर सत्य सारस्वत ही इज एन अमेरिकन बोर्ड सर्टिफाइड हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जन एंड वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन दिस फील्ड आई कैन वॉच फॉर दैट सो लेट्स टॉक टू हिम टुडे सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच कम्स टू एवरीवन्स माइंड इज डज मिनोक्सिडल रीग्रो हेयर सो अ लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज हैव बीन डन फॉर दिस एंड लेजर कलर डॉपलर स्टडीज एंड बायोप्सी स्टडीज हैव शोन that minoxidil increases the cell proliferation and it also increases the blood flow which is the main action of minoxidil and it has been shown that minoxidil improves or regrows around 45% hairs after its application especially this study was done on 5% concentration of minoxidil so it is true to say that minoxidil does regrow the hairs by all wow. these studies so this brings us to another question uh, it seems minoxidil does not work for some people it works for maximum but it doesn't work for few why is that so yeah so we also see such comments on uh, youtube some of our videos also and other places also and in our opd also patient do ask that we are applying it for some time and uh, it's not working so it does there is an individual variation and that depends on the uh, an enzyme known as sulfotransferase enzyme this sulfotransferase enzyme converts minoxidil which is an inactive metabolite to its active metabolite that is minoxidil sulfate wow. the, the level of this enzyme varies from one person to another so that's the basic reason because of the activity and the quantity of these enzymes in the scalp that different people show different kind of responses to minoxidil and now there are some tests to find out the activity of these enzyme you just have to take out couple of hairs from the scalp of the patient and then put it in a liquid for around 45 minutes to 1 hour and then just see the change in the color sulfotransferase enzyme activity if it is high then that liquid changes it to a color into a yellow kind of color and that signifies that these are the people who are going to respond to minoxidil so minoxidil is something which is a medicine not everybody is supposed to be benefited by it whether i will be uh, benefited by minoxidil or not i can actually find it out yes, yes, and yes. who does this test can it be done it should by be done by uh, the doctors and uh, although we do talk and we see about these medicines in the uh, i mean we talk about it on the social media but every medical treatment has to be taken after consulting your doctor only and these are the tests which are done in the clinics by the doctors medical supervision a, only yes yes exactly yes. so i had one question here that suppose i'm using minoxidil uh, and i'm feeling there is some side effect or i don't want to use it anymore then how do i stop minoxidil uh, yeah so some people do suffer these common side effects like scalp irritation dandruff formation sometimes throbbing pain and all and sometimes people do not want it to to take it for a very long time and in this case if you have to stop it you should never stop minoxidil suddenly you should uh, taper the dose you should slowly gradually decrease the minoxidil application from initially twice a day application to once a day application and that uh, uh, decrease to once a day should be like at least 6 to 12 weeks that is like two around one and half to two three months and then after that go for an alternate day uh, application once a day but please remember that if you are taking the other medicine finasteride 
do not stop both the medicines together at least try keep on trying taking one of them at least if you are stopping minoxidil please do keep on taking finasteride as per the dose prescribed by your doctor but it has to be a gradually uh, gradually done kind of thing not suddenly tapering sort yeah of you should not sudden uh, suddenly stop taking minoxidil yes. so can minoxidil be used for beard also beard growth in males yes yes now they have been some studies um, recently a study was published in april 2024 in a transgender yes. patient yeah and a lot of other anecdotal evidences are there available on social media and one study was done when 0.5 ml of 3% oxidil was applied for 3 uh, to 6 months and they uh, the patient started showing increased hair growth in the beard at 3 to 4 months post application so it is an effective uh, solution or a treatment to Uh, beard regrowth for beard regrowth as well can women also use minoxidil so, yeah so uh, minoxidil is one of the foremost and primary treatment for female pattern hair loss also the dose is once a day 5% but it has Means to be taken it is twice a day yeah it has to be taken after consulting your doctor only uh, along with other medical treatments and modalities like if you have some um uh, deficiencies or some hormonal issues they should also be addressed and along with that you can take low level laser therapy and prp and derma roller and other things and uh, like scalp micropigmentation or even hair transplant but minoxidil is an effective hair loss solution for female pattern hair loss as well and i think during pregnancy and breastfeeding it should be avoided it has to be avoided now after that if you are having telogen effluvium post delivery then again uh, you can start using this if you are having sudden hair loss after the delivery on which we have made a very detailed uh, a video on this yes so can... yeah so if you want to find out and if you are having a hair loss after delivery you can click on the i card above and find out why you are having it and what are the treatment preferences to it so dr minoxidil is a solution which usually comes with a dropper or a spray so a very frequent practical question people come and ask is doctor how should i apply this this solution so any tips you want to give yeah so uh, minoxidil should be applied if you are applying it twice a day after taking your bath in the morning drying your hairs with a, a soft towel rather than using a, a hair dryer and then we prefer we ask our patient to prefer or use a dropper to apply minoxidil rather than spray because if you are applying a spray most of it will stay on the hairs itself whereas when you apply it with a drop it directly touches the skin where it is supposed to act so 1 ml of minoxidil will have around 16 to 20 drops so four drops in the front after spreading your hairs by the left other uh, non dominant hand or the fingers there's four drops here then four drops on the sides on both the sides and four drops in the crown and then after that just gently tap it do not massage it just tap it with the tip of the fingers in a head tilted position towards the back so that's the good way of applying it if you spray it then it, most of it is lost on the uh, hair itself so another detailed version of how to apply minoxidil and some other questions you can click on the link above and you will be able to get more benefit so there are certain different types and brands of minoxidils different concentrations prepared by different laboratories in the market so is there a generic version of minoxidil also yes in india there is a generic brand and version of minoxidil by the name of jan oshadi minoxidil it's very very cheap it's around 150 rupees which is approximately i would say less than 2 dollars for 60 ml and uh, this we have not used it and uh, we do not have any uh, practical uh, knowledge about it but being very very cheap i am slightly skeptical because a quality product coming this cheap may or may not work but if if anybody wants to try that kisi ko aisa lagta hai ki unhe sasta wala hi minoxidil lena hai they can definitely try and they can share their experience in the comment section also whether it really worked for them or not so the jan oshadi jan oshadi minoxidil minoxidil yeah. so um, minoxidil ke sath are there other alternatives somebody can try uh, apart from minoxidil so a lot of other alternatives not as effective as minoxidil but uh, which are there are like ridensil capexil amoxidil and then rosemary oil 
and uh, onion extract and things like that. So these also do work to some extent like uh, the redensil increases the growth of the dormant follicle and increases the density and the strength of the follicles and capexil decreases the 5-DHT level as does the ketoconazole solution also and uh, amoxidil is an alternative to people who are allergic to minoxidil although it is not as effective as minoxidil but it is a substitute for those people who are allergic to minoxidil Procapil also increases the hair growth to some extent and uh, it, it also, you know, sort of activates the dormant hair follicles. So, there are certain serums available yes. containing Procapil, Amixidil and other things. Uh, also like rosemary oil and onion extract. Onion extract. Yeah. So these are the things which also are sort of an alternative to minoxidil if you are not inclined to use it or if you are allergic to using minoxidil in any way. So, the, the the basket is so vast that we tried to make a video on it of, for the different lotions which can be applied uh, on the scalp apart from minoxidil or along with minoxidil. You can click on the link above and uh, you'll be um, happy to see that there are so many other preferences available though not as effective as minoxidil. Minoxidil is US FDA approved. So, Dr. Another question which people come and ask is, Doctor, I'll start applying minoxidil. Ab result aane mein kitna samay lagega? So, the results of minoxidil, initially there may be some increased shedding because of minoxidil because it changes your hair cycle and that, that effect is seen, for, is seen for like around uh, 4 to 8 weeks which is like 1 to 2 months and you start seeing the positive effect of minoxidil at around 3 to 4 months post application peak effect of minoxidil comes at around one year post application and then generally stays at that same level or slightly decreases over a period of time. So, this paradoxical hair loss is very important to tell the patients because sometimes if you don't tell them beforehand, they come and say, Doctor, it's not so bad that you start to make hair loss. Exactly. So, we have to we make have to them. Yeah, we always tell them. Uh, always tell them beforehand that you start applying if you're having hair fall, it means the medicine is working for you. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, this brings us to one last question. What should we do if minoxidil is not working for us? So, if it is not working and you have tried other alternatives and you know, you using finasteride and other medicines and still if it is not working and therapies like PRP, then the only solution which remains is hair transplant, which is a, a surgical procedure by which you get natural growth of hairs post this procedure in which we take out the roots from the back and then uh, insert those roots into the bald or balding or thinning area and we have made a lot of videos about hair transplant on our channel and anybody who wants to see those videos can definitely click on the links or they are mentioned in the description also below and uh, those are the kind of last thing but initially you should always start with the medical treatment before actually jumping to the final solution as we say. So, it said that surgery starts where medicine ends. Exactly. <laughs> so, if your medicine is not working for you, do consider hair transplant. Yeah. So, that was it for today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.